Welcome back to KT's World. I'm just giving y'all video after video after video after video after video. For that alone, y'all should be hitting that like button already. Like, don't even wait to get through. Watch the whole video, but don't even wait to get through. Hit that like button now. Subscribe if you're new. I am Tisha. Um, so today I am doing chicken pot pie. This was requested from our lovely subscriber, Miss Mika. Hey, Miss Mika. I'm doing this video for you, boo, and because we hungry and we wanna eat, okay? <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna get ready to show y'all the ingredients that I'm gonna use, and let's get into this video. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into these ingredients for this chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna start over here. You're gonna need some seasoned salt, some dash, some cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. Um, you don't have to use cream of mushroom. If you don't like cream of mushroom, we do, so I'm using it. You could do cream of celery, cream, yeah, whatever you like. I'm gonna do um, probably this whole can of cream of mushroom and then this little can of um, cream of chicken. Then I have black pepper, parsley flakes, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I also have three potatoes. I have my onion, butter, chicken stock or you can do chicken broth doesn't really matter i have some uh pie crust this one will be for the top then i have the deep dish two deep dish marie calendars pie crust and then i have a lovely rotisserie chicken that i got from walmart and this is what i'm gonna use you don't have to get a rotisserie chicken you can get like chicken thighs breasts tenders whatever you like boil it up season it up and do your thing but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rotisserie because I have four kids and I'm not gonna sit here and wait when I can just get a chicken that's already cooked you know what I'm saying then over here I got my water um boiling for the potatoes I'm gonna peel and put those in there and then I'm missing one more thing and it is some mixed vegetables okay bag of mixed vegetables so this is what you're gonna need all right you can switch up the seasonings and the onion I think I said that so let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the chicken off of this rotisserie chicken and um, then uh, peel my potatoes. Lord, y'all, I'm going to take the, ch the chicken off the um, bone and then I'm going to peel the potatoes. Okay, then we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I went and shredded the rotisserie chicken. So here's all my chicken right in here. Got plenty of chicken. Like I said, you guys can just um, boil your chicken thighs or breasts or whatever you choose, but I chose rotisserie chicken, so here it is. I peeled my potatoes and I went ahead and just used two big ones. I'm gonna salt my water, okay? Go ahead and cut our onion. Yeah, what's y'all favorite chicken pot pie? Like um, fast food? Well, I don't know how many fast foods to make chicken pot pie, but I love KFC chicken pot pie. Love it. Okay, so here's my potatoes, y'all. We're not cooking them all the way through, but we cooking them enough, okay? Just not all the way. So we want them soft, but not all the way soft, if you get what I'm saying. Hop that in the boiling water back here. Let that do its thing. Cut up my onion. Okay, I'm only gonna use half of the onion. Not too much. It's really up to you how much onion you want in your chicken pot pie. 
Because in reality, I don't think chicken pot pie has onion, to be honest. Not in the KFC one, at least. But I'm going to put a little bit. Frankie, they don't have onion in the chicken pot pie in the KFC. But I'm only going to put a little bit. How long is that? Probably not. Ain't it good, keep from KFC? I don't have it. Oh, you didn't try it? Oh, dang. He yeah, said he never had them. He never tried it, period. Oh, matter of fact, let me go ahead and put a little olive oil, y'all, in the back pan. Because we're going to fry those onions up. Then we're going to dump the chicken with it. I mean, chicken pot pie is really simple to make. It's a comfort food. Let me see. Where's my olive oil? Put a little olive oil in the back pan. Put that. Yeah. Let that do its thing. Yes? You want to go to school? No. Oh, I thought that was what you were doing. No. Another thing, y'all. Your pie. Your deep dish um, crust. Do not leave that sitting. You do not want that to be thawed when you pour your mixture in it. Because what that's going to do is have the bottom part of that deep dish uh, crust all mushy. You don't want that. So keep it in the freezer until you're ready to dump your, um, you know, chicken pot pie filling in there. Just waiting for my pan to get a little hot. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to set y'all up in the pot so y'all can see what's going on. Alright, y'all. So, I put my onions back here in my olive oil. I'm going to fry those up until they get a little translucent. Ooh. Babe, you going to give me an apron and say cook it with Tisha? Cook it with Tisha. Really? Y'all, he bought wool. He, he got it. He had to do it. Don't forget about y'all potatoes, okay? Check your potatoes. I know they, it ain't ready yet. There we go. Onions is translucent. You're gonna go in with your rotisserie chicken or whatever chicken you choose. Okay. I would I wish my light, my light is out on top of my um stove over here y'all hopefully i mean it looks like y'all can see it really good so it should be in there so we're gonna just fry that up the onions this this you can go ahead and start seasoning all right just do a little bit because when you add your cream of mushroom and cream of chicken you're probably gonna have to add a little bit more seasoning so i put a little seasoned salt i'm gonna go in with some dash okay Pepper. Yeah, yeah. Onion powder. Turn it down too. Onion powder. And garlic powder. Okay? Just toss that. Then you're going to go in with your mixed vegetables. So at this point, you basically just gonna go ahead and start putting everything in here, okay? That's what we do, and I'm gonna turn the temperature down. All right, y'all see that? I'm gonna go ahead and open my cream of chicken. And one thing with um chicken pot pie filling, you obviously don't want it like a soup, right? So you want it nice and creamy. So here goes my cream of chicken. All right, so I've got my cream of chicken. Ooh, creamy. Then I'm gonna go in 
with my cream. Oh, I need this open. I gotta open my cream with mushroom. Go in with some cream of mushroom. Oh Lord, let me not cut myself. Okay. Get in there. Okay, so far I put half a can of that because that was a, one of those big cans. Damn, it smells good. Have it on low because we're still waiting for the potatoes. Then you're going to season it again more than likely to. Y'all already know. <clears throat> you don't want it too thick. So y'all see, it's really thick. You want it thick but not this thick. So you're going to take some of your chicken stock and you're going to thin it out. You don't have to use chicken stock. You could use chicken broth too. Okay. And just keep on adding the stock. You might not need to add any more after that, but so you you see how it's getting nice? Oh my god. Oh my. So we're gonna let that cook for a while. Marinate together in heaven. And I can already tell you I'm gonna add some more chicken stock in a few. Because it's, it's too thick for my likings. So, we'll be back. So, I'm going to wait for the potatoes to boil. And when they're done, um, we'll be back so you guys can see me toss it in here with this stuff. And leave this on low and let it simmer and do its thing. You can even season it a little bit more. Try it and season it. Okay? Be back. Okay. Go in with the potatoes. Toss the potatoes in there. Okay, you have to wait. I'm doing a video when I'm done, okay? Okay. Okay, y'all. Go ahead. I'm going to add a little more chicken stock. Yeah, this is what I like. Just like that. And now I'm going to season again. With some garlic. And where's my pepper? Put some pepper. A little more onion. And also one tablespoon of butter. So I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of butter. Mom, mom. Okay. Mom, mom, mom. It's okay, Kyla. Mommy get it. Okay. Oh my God, y'all, this is gonna be good. Woo! Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top, let that do its thing, I want to say, let's give it about 10 minutes and come back and see where we at. Watch out, mama. Give that about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back, y'all, okay? All right, y'all. I let it do its thing for 10 minutes. It is good to go. Do you see that? Mm-mm-mm. Yes! Say amen. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my goodness. Got the potatoes in there, the chicken, the corn, the carrots, all the good old seasonings. Mm. So, next step, you have to let this cool. Cause remember I told you guys, you don't wanna put this really hot, hot, hot onto something really, really, really cold. Cause it's gonna be a mushy pie if you do that. So we're gonna let this sit. And then um, we'll fill the pie. So I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like after. But yes, this is yes, that's what I like. Just like that. It's gonna be so good, y'all. Oh my goodness. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all. Got my two deep dish pie crusts right here. 
We'll go ahead and start filling these bad boys up. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, y'all. I taste this. It tastes so good. It smells so amazing in here. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm just being a little hard headed. Still kind of hot. A little warm, I should say. So I did let it sit, but just I could have let it sit a little bit more. But it's okay. So I'm gonna take the filling, flatten it out. Same with this one. Oh my God. Do you guys see these? Look at that. Okay. Look, 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 look. Woo, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna get my parsley. Even though you can't see. Oh, I thought it was open already. Let me open my parsley. <laughs> I, I must have used the other one already then. Okay. Pop that back. Let's put a little parsley. I know you won't be able to see, but I like parsley, so. <laughs> We're gonna cover it with the dough, but. One of the um, pie crusts, homemade pie crusts. Nothing wrong with pre-made. Mm. Okay, so this is good as homemade. I mean, depending on the brand, I'm just saying. So. Don't forget to set your temperature, I mean your oven to 325, y'all. Then you're gonna unroll the dough. And roll the dough, okay? Yes. All you gonna do, y'all, you see that? It's perfect. You're just gonna lay it right on top of that pot. Oh, like that. There we go. Where's my fork? I had the fork for the, there it is. Okay. And what you're gonna do is take a fork and just start pulling, you know, the extra dough because we don't want all that extra dough just hanging there so we're gonna pull that extra dough first pull it all out these chicken pot pies are gonna be delicious okay I'm excited about this. Okay, so when you take the extra off, take a fork, whatever you have, and pinch. Just go ahead and go around and pinch. Okay, it's like you're decorating. Go around the whole pot pie. Pinch that together. Okay. Ain't gotta be perfect. That looks good actually to me. I don't care. <laughs> Just make sure it's all sealed. There we go. Seal that bad boy up. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and do the other one. 
We're gonna do a little swap a roo over here. Move this one, put this one so y'all can see. Kyla, what you got? What's that? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, this one's giving me a hard time to open. What in the world? There we go. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me We're going to do a slit Kind of like a cross, okay, in the middle. Cross, cross. Same thing with the other one. Cross, cross. Then we're gonna do like a water and yolk egg wash on it. So it'll be nice and golden. Just drizzle that all around. Do that all around. It's gonna make it nice and golden. It's gonna make it look real pretty when it come out the oven. And that's I didn't use any egg um, whites at all, y'all. Okay, just the yolk part. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna drizzle that around so it can be nice and pretty. And then I'm gonna throw these in the oven on 325 for 45 to 50 minutes, okay? And then we'll be back to see what they look like, y'all. All right? All right, y'all, they came out of the oven. 325 for 45 to 50 minutes, okay? And look at that. Ooh, let me not make another blooper. Look at that. Mmm, golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. Hold on, mama. Hold on. So, I literally just took this out, but I am gonna cut it open for y'all. I suggest you let it sit before you actually open it. But for y'all, I know y'all wanna see the inside, so. Oh my god, it smells so good. As soon, I swear, as soon as I cut through it. Mm. Okay. Let me switch so y'all can see. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Take that the way. Okay, there we go. Y'all see that? Mmm. Mm-mm. A lot of it fell. Like I said, let it sit, obviously. But look at that, y'all. Look good? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. Woo! Thumbnail that. All right, camera finna die. Um, hit that like button, y'all. Please look. Just look at this. This is why you should hit the like button. Hit the like button. Comment, share, share, share because you care. 
Subscribe, Keon. Say, Keon's excited. He getting ready to tear this down. Yes.